Hi everybody and welcome. It's Debbie here with Debbie Stamping Creations and today I'm going to show you another sneak peek of some new product that's coming in January. January 4th both of the new catalogs start so if you don't have a demonstrator already and don't have these catalogs and would like them please let me know and I will get them in the mail to you. So today I'm going to continue with the suite that we started the other day, the Heart and Home Suite. And it's one of our large suites and it has two stamp set bundles in it. And this one um, is called the Honey Bee Home. And you can see the bees on this one are so much better than the bees that we had before. These look more realistic and they're flying around. I just think this is an awesome stamp set. So it also has in the suite a Hive 3D embossing folder. So with this, you can get the beehive, the honeycomb kind of look on your paper. We're going to be using that today as well. So let's get started on our card today. This is the card that we're making. And I'm hoping to get this sent off to somebody back in Iowa that I'm missing. So let me show you what we used to make this card. Okay, so we're going to start with a basic white thick cardstock for our card base. That is five and a half by eight and a half. We're going to score it at four and a fourth to give us and find my bone folder to give us our card base at five and a half and four by four and a quarter. Now um, we're going to do a layer of Misty Moonlight. Let me show you the colors we're using here. Misty Moonlight. And that layer is five and let me double check. Yep, five and three eighths by four and one eighth. Five and three eighths by four and one eighth. That way we're just going to barely have the white showing around the edge. Okay, now for the yellow layer, which is the bumblebee cardstock, we're going to do it at four by five and a quarter. And as you can see, we're going to run that through the embossing folder and then I've done some coloring on here. I want to show you how to do that shadowing. So now the die set includes, where did I lay it? Oh, here it is. Includes the dies to cut out your bees and your flowers. So the front of this is done with a lot of die cutting. And what I've done, instead of coloring my bouquet of flowers, I have stamped them in the Misty Moonlight and in the Bumblebee, and then I just cut them out. So this is actually four pieces in here, and I've die cut those ahead of time, so I have them all ready to go. These lined up really well. Um, the secret is to keep your stem in the center and then it lines up the rest for you. So those lined up really well and cut well. We also have the bees on here and um, once again I stamped them in my memento ink and then die cut them out. So I already have those cut out for our card and Actually, this one looks a little better than that one. And here's the big guy. So I've already done my die cutting ahead of time. For our greeting here, I did a basic white that measures one by two. And then I did the Misty Moonlight piece for the background in one and an eighth by two and one eighth. And I tied my little bouquet with some twine out of our Baker's Twine Essential Pack. So let's get started and let me show you how I did this card and I also want to show you a secret with the envelope while we're doing this today. 
So let me get these laid over here. All right, so the the blue, the misty moonlight is just going to go on the basic white, but we are going to emboss this top layer. And we're going to do that with our stamp and cut and emboss machine. And I like how the if you don't have it yet, the stamp cut and emboss machine that Stampin' Up! now sells has all the directions on the plate. So I'm trying to line this up to make it so that we are there. We are good. Okay, so when you are using this, it tells you right on the plate if you're using the thin dies, which pieces you need, and each piece that comes in here is numbered. So like here's number three, um, here's number five, here's number four. Today, because we're using a 3D embossing folder, we need number one and number four, and that's these two pieces. So let's run our embossing folder through our stamp and cut and emboss machine. I try not to shake the table too much. And here we have it. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? Now, when I went to put my flowers on, I thought, oh, I need something just to make them pop out, but I didn't want to add another layer. So what I did on here was I took one of our blending brushes and our Bumblebee ink, Bumblebee ink, which is the same as the cardstock, and I just put some color on here to give it kind of a darker shadowing area so that when I put my flowers on, <clears throat> then they show up better. And you can see I just went around this area. I didn't like have a set measured area, um, just enough to add some color to it. Easy way to get some additional spot for your, you know, some additional detail without having to add more layers. I love those blending brushes. Okay, so here are our four pieces of flowers that I have die cut. And we're just going to layer these randomly. And I took a dab of glue on the back of each one so that when I got it where I wanted it, I can bring that down a little bit, then it was kind of put in place. So and again, just a dab of glue. I'm gonna put that over there. And I missed a spot there. I'm just gonna put this one right here. Now once I got these all placed together, whoops, I glued right to the paper. That's all right. Okay, once I got these all where I wanted them, and they were, down, we can actually cut this little stem off over here so we don't have anything sticking out the side. And then I'm going to take a piece of that twine and I'm just going to take a little piece and I'm going to tie a little bow around here to make it look like it's a little bouquet. Get 
And you know the glue is actually holding them together. This is just giving it the bouquet look. Of course I have trouble when I'm on camera. There we go. Now we want these strings to the ends to hang down. So we're going to pull them just a little. There. So now we have our little bouquet that we're going to attach on. And we want to see how I have the dark around it now. So it kind of pops it out a little bit. And I think we'll use some, no we're not, we're going to use glue to put this on. And the reason is we are going to pop the um, bees with dimensionals. And we want them to kind of be above the rest of it. So we're going to glue that down. Okay. Now, whenever I use an embossing folder where I have a lot of um, details sticking up, I don't like to use adhesive to put this down because as you roll your adhesive on here, it's going to like flatten the design a little bit. So I'm just going to use a little bit of tear and tape and I'm going to do a little strip up at the top and I'm going to do a little strip at the bottom. This is going to hold your card. Actually, I'll do all four sides. This is going to hold it in place much better because you're going to have the solid piece across there, but it's not going to flatten out your design. Um, and it's going to hold your card together better. So we're going to peel this off. And we're going to put it onto our piece of Misty Moonlight before we add the bees with dimensionals. Maybe. Okay, now we can add this to our Misty Moonlight layer. Okay, now for my bumblebees, let's go ahead and add this to the card base. before we add our bumblebees. That way we don't have that. And by using the green glue, we have just a minute to get it shifted around to the way we want it on the card base. So here we go. Okay, for our bees now, I used my Stampin' Right marker in the bumblebee, and I colored just their body portions because we just want a little bit of color on there. And then, we can go ahead and put this up here. And then I use the mini dimensionals to get ready to pop them up. Couple on each one so that they're popped up well. And then for the to give it that extra glittery appearance on my card, 
when I got everything added, I went back and added some Winkostella. So let's get these bees placed where we want them. This one's kind of, let's put it over here. This is the bigger one. We're going to put him down at the bottom coming up. We still have our greeting to put on here. And this one's up here at the top. But now that we have that on there, we can take this wing Costella and we can go over these bees and their little wings and it just pops them right out. So that's why I didn't worry about trying to color the wings or all of the body because this Wink of Stella, I add this to a lot of cards. And I added it to some of my flowers too. Just to pop some of them out and bring out the colors in them. And you can see I'm not being picky about making sure it's on the lines. It's just adding a little bit to this card. So let me see if I can get that up so you can see that Wink of Stella just pops everything out. So the last thing that we need to do is going to be our greeting. And we are going to stamp that in our Misty Moonlight on our white cardstock and we are going to say I'm looking for my stamp oh here it is right here we're going to say miss you and we're going to stamp that right on our white card piece oops I pushed too hard on that I have my little there so now we can add that to our piece of misty moonlight and then we're going to add that and I'm going to use liquid glue um, on this hopefully it'll catch all those little and then I'm gonna take my ends of my string my twine and I'm gonna put them wrap them down around so it um, embraces that little miss you Okay, so there is our card for today. I'm going to finish off the back of the card with a handmade for you, again, stamped in our Misty Moonlight. And this is from our handmade for you stamp set out of our annual catalog. Those are great to put on the back of the creations that you have. So there's the card. I love the bees and the flowers. Now I'm going to show you a secret with a secret way of decorating your envelope. To pull it all together, we need a scrap of paper, any scrap of paper, and you put it down inside of your envelope. Then you can stamp and color a bee right here in the corner. And you don't have to worry about it um, soaking through onto the rest, the inside or the back of your envelope. So we're going to use this little guy. We're going to stamp him down here in the corner. And then because I have that piece on the inside, we can take our marker and we can color him let's put a little bit here 
And you know what? We can even take that Wink of Stella and do his wings on the front. So it gives that glitter effect. And then, see how cute that is on the corner of the envelope? And now, let's take the flap of the envelope and run it through the embossing folder. So this is really going to pull the whole thing together. So we're going to do it so it's just right on the flap of the envelope. And once again, we're going to put it on through our, oh, there it is, I was looking for that, stamp cut and emboss machine. And look how much that pulls that all together to make a whole set. Makes for a very nice card. People like receiving cards when the envelopes are coordinated. And it just completes it. So that is our card for today. Again, a sneak peek at some product coming here soon. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you are all having a wonderful holiday season. And I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and like my video below. Thanks again. Bye.